<laughs> Hi everybody, it's Little Proper Lady here. Today is, oh shit, it's Thursday. It's uh, June 20th, yeah, June 20th, 2019. And as you can tell, we are in California, so we made it. The flight was pretty good. It was the longest plane ride we've ever been on. Well, I've ever been on. I don't know about anybody else, but and neither one of my kids have flown until now, so they were scared to death, and they actually enjoyed it. So um, it was almost five hours from Chicago when we landed to get to LAX. So um, we got here, it was about 26 hours ago, and uh, we literally... Um, got in, got everything unpacked last night. The kids ran right to the beach because it's literally like a hundred yards away from, like you can see the beach from our balcony. And uh, they ran to the beach and enjoyed that for a little bit. And then we went on the boardwalk, the Venice Beach boardwalk last night. And uh, it's expensive out here, which I already knew that, but it was kind of a sticker shop to Brian because he didn't realize how expensive everything was. Um, so it was fun, and then today was a beach day all day, but the weather literally is only going to be in the 60s, low 70s the whole time we're here. In fact, it's warmer in New York now than it is here. And we just got back from the beach, and it was cold. So, but that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today in the video is the culture shock that we've experienced since we've landed. Um, in New York, everybody's like, go, 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 you know, rush, 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 have to get this done right now, like right this second, you don't have a choice. And here, everybody's pretty chill. They're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'll get to it. Yeah, like we went to Walmart today um, to pick up some groceries uh, to have the house stocked full of food. And uh, yeah, everybody was kind of like, whatever, just, you know, moseying around. I didn't expect that out here, especially in a big city. I kind of expected it to be more fast paced like New York is, um, but weed is legal here. Um, everybody knows that, that knows anything about California. It's one of the states that it is legal. And honestly, we have seen so many people do it in public. It's crazy. Um, you walk outside of our door and that's all you can smell. Um, so I think that has a lot to do with the mentality of the individuals in California, why they're so chill and laid back and don't really care, um, because they're all high, or a great large majority of them are, because it's legal. Um, in fact, there's delivery services, apparently, that can deliver it right to your door within the hour of you ordering it. So it's not even anything where you have to get out of your apartment and or your house or whatever and go someplace and pick it up. You literally call, you tell them what you want, you pay over the phone, they deliver it to your doorstep within an hour. So I'm a liberal person. I say to each their own, you do what it is that you wanna do. You know, you wanna do that, cool. You don't wanna do that, cool. You want to, you know, choose who your life partner is and it's not of the opposite sex, cool. I'm, I'm down with all of that. So. I work very well in an environment like this because I'm kind of a hippie soul and I'm very, you know, liberal in that aspect of, of most things. Brian is not so much. He's like, I'm not a fan. First of all, there's a lot of people here, so that kind of um, irritates him. And I'm not a huge people person myself, but I can tolerate people if I have to, um, especially if I'm out and about and I know that there's going to be a lot of people around which I was expecting, it's LA, so. Hey, it's Los Angeles County, still in Venice Beach here, so there's going to be a lot of people everywhere. Um, but even the way that people talk here is different. They're kind of like, hey man, all right, I'll get that for you, bro. Like, cool, dude. It's just, it's so different from New York, um, and I think it's gonna taste, take him a minute to adjust to it, but the kids and I are, are pretty good with that because we we watch a lot of stuff and a lot of people from um, the California area so we understand you know what kind of culture is out here to begin with um, but back to my point about the legalization of marijuana so I think it honestly uh, is going to become legal in all of the states not only 
could it be a huge source of revenue for states? And I, I definitely, I'm expecting it to become legalized in New York in the near future. And yes, they tax it. Yes, there's regulations that you have to follow with it. Um, but from what I've heard and what I've seen, it's doing the state of California a lot of good. Um, it's making them a lot of money uh, from the sale of it. And people are getting unnecessary locked up just for, you know, a weed charge, having a bag of weed charge. So I think that's saving the prison system here and it's making the economy a lot of money. So I don't see a whole lot of bad with it other than, you know, the people who are against those who do it, that those that choose to do it are like, oh, they're slower. Oh, they're, you know, whatever. They're not paying attention as much. The reflexes are off. Yes, you're going to have those instances where people are going to be eating edibles or smoking or whatever, and they're going to be driving a vehicle. But don't you get that with people who drink too? Aren't there deadly car crashes that are caused by drunk drivers all the time? Um, so how can somebody sit there and say, this is an issue, people shouldn't be allowed to do this if, and we should take away their their right or their privilege to be able to use recre recreational marijuana. Well, if you're gonna do that to them, then you would have to do the same thing with alcohol, and that's not going to happen. Um, so that's my take on the whole thing of it. But at the same time, I also feel like, I don't know about the other states, but at least in this state, um, they're using it as an ability to be able to enforce additional laws and regulations that people aren't really paying attention to. They think the majority of people are, you know, just high and just want to do their thing and be left alone and, and whatever and eat their food and take their naps and whatever else. Um, so I, I don't think a lot of people are paying attention to the other uh, rules and regulations that they're enforcing since they enforced um, the legalization of marijuana. Uh, for instance, we went to Walmart today. The girl asked me if I wanted my groceries bagged. And I kind of looked at her and I went, what? And she goes, yeah. I'm like, do you want me to put your groceries in the bags? And I went, well, how else am I supposed to get them out of here? And she goes, oh, we charge for bags. And I went, what? And she goes, yeah. They, they made it illegal for, if you go to Walmart, a plastic bag to put your food in so you have to bring your own bag and they they say that it's to make the state greener um and to protect the wildlife in the ocean because all of those plastic bags were ending up in the ocean and they were uh damaging wildlife in the ocean they still use plastic bags that you pay for they're just thicker plastic bags that are supposedly reusable how many people are going to go home after buying the groceries, unload all of their groceries, put them away, and then store their bags in their car to reuse them again? Now, I know that I've done that in the past, and my mother has done that with, like, the canvas bags. But who's going to do that with a plastic bag? Most people don't do that. They just chuck them. Um, these bags literally say they're good for 125 uses. They're super thick like plastic, so they won't rip, which I like. I think that's awesome. Um, but I'm not going to take them back to New York, so what am I going to do with them? They're just going to get tossed away. Um, and I don't know, <coughs> and I didn't ask, how many people actually reuse those bags. I think it's a great idea if people actually did it and used it for the purpose that it's supposed to be for. But essentially, I think they just incorporated that because... They can, and most people aren't paying attention in this state because they got what they wanted and now they can just, you know, pass whatever laws, silly, crazy laws and regulations that they want um, and inflict it upon the general public and they don't know any better. So I'm not saying that Californians are dumb. So anybody that lives in California or whatever, don't take this the wrong way. I'm just saying I feel like that's like their whole thing on it is, oh, well, they're not really paying attention, so we can do this because... We can. We can get away with it. And you guys are smoking your joints and you're good to go. So, which is probably the case, but I think it's ridiculous as far as that goes. But the whole legalization of the marijuana thing, I think, um, like I said, New York uh, would do well from that. And I think that's something that they should do in New York. I think it would 
help the economy in New York a lot, especially all the issues that we have in New York City um, and having to pay the higher taxes and things because of them. So if New York really wants to help itself, I think it would be a great thing. And like I said, I feel like it's going to come in the near future. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Uh, I'm not going to tell you my take on whether I partake in that or not, but or if I will if it comes to New York, but y'all can be the, the judge of that. So that's all I have to say as far as that goes. I'm going to go back and get to my vacation. We're actually going to uh, be grabbing the kids and going and riding around on those scooter things that you can pay for through Uber because the kids really wanted to do that. So, <clears throat> And it's way too cold to be at the beach. So tomorrow is going to be Hollywood Walk of Fame Day in downtown LA. And it's only, what'd you say, babe? Just like an 11 minute drive? Yeah, it's like an 11 minute, well, 11 mile drive. It's gonna take us like an hour and a half, so that should be fun, LA traffic. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys today. Um, as always, always remember, everything does happen for a reason. So whether you're having a good day or a bad day, you're in a good situation or a bad situation, just stick with it. You're on that journey for a reason. Everything's going to be okay. Also, always remember, forget about the past. There isn't anything that we can do about the past. The only thing that we can do is learn and grow and be better people from the past. Think about the future while you're living in the now. Be living, be loving, be laughing, being enjoying your family and your friends right now because tomorrow's not guaranteed. We all could not be here tomorrow, so it's important that we're staying focused on the future while we're living in the now. That's all I've got for you guys today. I might talk to you tomorrow or maybe the day after. Bye, guys.